Alrighty, it's July 14th, 2018, here at Mount Pinos, California, with the Takahashi TSA 120 F7.5 telescope and a Gen 3 unfilmed image intensifier. And we're looking at a rather nice globular star cluster in the constellation Scorpius, the Scorpion. This is called M4, also known as the Cat's Eye, because it's kind of got a bit of a little horizontal line in it, right, going right across the center of it, from sort of the 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock position. Very interesting star cluster. Nice shape. Have it here at roughly 36 power magnification through this scope. And my camera's a um, Panasonic GH5S looking into an ITT 1X relay lens coupled to the back of the uh, night vision device, the image intensifier. Provided a pretty good image scale here with the M43 sensor on the camera. My settings on the camera 160th of a second shutter, ISO is 1600. So this is very real time, that's for sure. Um, let's try something else in Scorpius. We hit a few other objects actually. A smaller, oops, wrong one, but maybe a smidge brighter, certainly tighter globular star cluster. Going there now with our go-to mount. There it is, that's M80, magnitude 7.2. Quite a bit smaller, more compact, obviously. Just trying to move it around a little so I can get it off my crosshair so I can see it better. That's M80 in Scorpius. Let's move on to a couple of open clusters, big honking ones, M6 which is a little to the east of these guys, and south of them. Right here, okay, that's a big bunch of stars, isn't it? <clears throat> Not sure what shape that is. Partial X. Uh, this, or the next one I'm going to, is called a butterfly cluster. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. But a nice little patch of stars, fairly bright. Let's try the fourth and last cluster, which may or may not be the butterfly. Moving on, not too far away. Oh, we got some star clouds in the Milky Way there too. Okay, this is M7. That doesn't look like a butterfly to me, does it? Got kind of a trapezoid or something and some stars lower. Like a person stick figure standing? No, probably not. But uh, there you go. A couple of globulars and a couple of them clusters in the constellation Scorpius. And we're going to call that a wrap.